The Swedish Bofors 40mm anti-aircraft gun is a weapon series that has been active for several decades. During World War II, it was one of the most successful anti-aircraft guns, with good ammunition power and firepower density, and it remains one of the most active anti-aircraft guns to this day. In the late 1990s, Sweden planned to use this gun to design and manufacture a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun system, which is the Trident system. In the mid to late 1990s, Sweden began designing a new generation of wheeled self-propelled howitzers, which later became known as the Archer. It was built on the chassis of a Volvo 6x6 wheeled truck. The development of the Trident system and the Archer were basically at the same time, with many similarities in their design concepts. The Trident system was also built on a 6x6 truck chassis and only remained at the prototype stage, with its design considering low cost and versatility. In terms of overall structure, it is similar to the Archer, with a front power compartment and driver's cab with certain armored protection, and combat equipment installed on the platform above the rear frame, with its primary weapon being a Bofors 40mm L-70 anti-aircraft gun, the latest model in the series, which has an increased barrel diameter and a flatter trajectory, and it uses a magazine for ammunition. The Trident features an open combat platform, with the gun crew taking clips from the ammunition rack on the vehicle for loading. The anti-aircraft gun can elevate and rotate horizontally, and there are hydraulic support legs on the rear and sides of the vehicle to stabilize it. Because of the characteristics of the anti-aircraft gun, it can not only target aerial targets, but also light armored targets or small waterborne targets. The Trident is a technological exploration of the concept of a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun system, with the designers incorporating all combat command and spare parts onto the vehicle, making it a mobile anti-aircraft position. It is said to be able to deploy and deliver firepower in less than 60 seconds. There is a closed compartment behind the driver's cab, which seems to be the command center for anti-aircraft operations, and may also accommodate other equipment, such as retractable observation devices and radar. As an experimental weapon, the Trident has its successes and shortcomings. With advances in electronic technology, the individual combat capability of self-propelled anti-aircraft weapons has become stronger, integrating into higher-level combat systems to complete area defense, and also being able to self-detect and engage with onboard radar and other equipment, becoming a point defense weapon. The Trident is successful in this regard, as the 6x6 truck chassis provides sufficient space for equipment installation. From the perspective of the development of self-propelled anti-aircraft weapons, the idea of only installing anti-aircraft guns on mobile vehicles is a bit outdated. People usually combine anti-aircraft guns with small anti-aircraft missiles, and the two weapons can complement each other to enhance combat effectiveness. The Trident's weapon configuration of only one 40mm anti-aircraft gun limits its combat capability. As mentioned earlier, the Trident has the capability to target small waterborne targets near the coast, but this task is not unique to it. Sweden has also developed a coastal defense weapon called the Tri-KA, which also mounts a 40mm anti-aircraft gun on a truck, and in the late 1990s tested a new electro-optical fire control system and infrared search equipment. The Trident system was tested around the year 2000, and it is clear that it did not have the opportunity for further development, only existing as a prototype for testing.